Hello everyone, my name is Hector Doomhammer and welcome to this week's stream of Rise of the Reds. Today with me as always, Mars monitoring the chat. Good day. And joining me as co-host and co-commentator is The Hunter. Good afternoon, folks. All right, and as Dutchy Gamer already said, um, I mean, I've, I've been experiencing some uh, connection issues uh, during yesterday's uh, testing and during uh, last Friday's stream. Um, so there's a good chance that uh, during the mat during one of the matches or uh, in between the matches, I might drop out for a moment. Uh, I'm gonna lose everyone on uh, on Skype. Uh, OBS is gonna stop for a moment. OBS being my recording software, and um, basically what I mean with that, uh, it's something that I cannot be cannot help. Yet I am going to call my ISP about this. Uh, Probably on Tuesday because uh, it's a holiday tomorrow in Holland. And uh, General Camo, I saw your question about uh, the quality of the stream not being able to, to change. It is because I am not partnered, I am not using Turbo, and thus you'll have to deal with whatever I throw at you. And that doesn't just go for General Camo, that goes for everyone. And hello, uh, Sim1, one, Sim one, however you want me to pronounce it. Uh, thank you uh, for those people that have been hitting that follow button recently. And as far as I'm concerned, and I don't see you in the game yet, uh, Hunter, as I'm seeing everyone drop out. Um. Just checking. Okay, ah, there we go. Well, right, so, uh, da, 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 Grail, Dutchy. I, I, let's start off with a uh, three player free for all to start off with. I think What's... Dutchy actually proposed doing a one versus one with Grail. Okay. Excellent. So that has been decided already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all players are in. Uh, now what was the map that uh, Crimson suggested again yesterday? Uh, pff, I wouldn't know actually. Me neither. Let's see. Yeah, pick a, uh, pick a uh, the random two versus two map that looks all right. Yeah, yeah, good quite good quite part on Dutchies and there set it to yeah, 10k, not 50k. 50. I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's just go with uh, this one for now. <coughs> Gonna put this back to 10k. I've been doing some testing uh, with the guys from Prices for it. Obviously, <laughs> instead of China. Because I've been messing around a little bit. <laughs> We all uh, have, actually. All <laughs> so, right. It seems that Dutchie is going to go as GLA this time, and Grail is going to go as Russia. And Grail didn't load. Well, he has a single part, that means he is loading. Oh, really? Yeah, it might just be his computer. Oh, okay, well, he shows... Oh, there uh, he is, there he is. Yeah. It's probably just because his computer is perhaps slightly older than the uh -huh. parts. <coughs> People on the chat are calling for trains. I see that, Mr. Black Ranger. I cannot promise that, though. No. Okay, so we've got a warehouse Not over... for this game, anyway. No, this map doesn't have any trains. No. Oh, that... Uh, that's right, I now know which song I actually wanted to play before the stream started. <laughs> well, we'll do that for next time! Okay, now well, well, we have the uh, general like, purpose build-up phase. Was that, uh, build that going to be one-way train? <laughs> <laughs> no, it has something to do with trains, but not the runaway train song. I know exactly which one you mean. We hear some uh, ambient cats and dogs. <laughs> this thing needs to be destroyed. <laughs> Even some goats, apparently. 
Oh, let's see. I am seeing Dushka Nest being built here. We've got a Supply Stash Tunnel. Uh, I guess that this is a uh, Barracks Tunnel. That's a yeah, good to tell it's a Barracks Tunnel because uh, it has one of the, the GLA flag waving right above it, basically. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> And it seems that Dutchy is using his uh, quick expansion technique, or tactic. Just uh, trying to gain uh, map control really early on. He's got two workers, got a total network here, and I guess the Dushka is being built here. Yep. And he's gonna go for the uh, for the supplies here, the ore refinery there. Is there anything else? Probably not. He's got a problem. There's, uh, there's some oil up in the north east. Yeah, that was still as well, of course. Oh, already hearing some Gatling cannon action somewhere. So yeah, that oh. was a uh, that was the um, oh, yeah. uh, cash turn that took out the observation van. Yeah. Question from Mr. White's Metal Caesar: What is the new scout unit for the GLA? Well, the new scout unit is the old scout unit. We have actually updated the model of the observation van. Yeah, so it just has different looks. It still is the same unit. It still functions exactly the same, if I'm not mistaken. It just looks different. Yeah, you're right on that. Yeah, it's it's exactly the same. It just looks prettier. That's all. <coughs> so Grayon, who actually in this latest build has uh, been voicing two infantry units for Russia, amongst the one I'm uh, highlighting right now, the uh, RPG conscript, and the other one is the Schmel Trooper. Yeah, he has one of those like right uh, next to his war factory right now with two conscripts. Yeah, I I have him right here. So let's see. Uh, the Dushka nest and the uh, tunnel network have been uh, made. Seems that the uh, Mishka was destroyed by that thing. Let's see what's going on over here. Nothing yet. Oh oh oh! Got a tunnel network over here as well. And uh, that's she's gonna go for the oil derricks here. Gersening some of the buildings in the north uh, east over here. And Mr. Syme One has some very good eyes because he's asking, what is the new RPG conscript upgrade? Andre, <laughs> maybe you want to handle that one. Well, yeah, first of all, it's the voice. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> well, uh, the uh, conscript. Uh, Upgrades that previously gave him larger rifle magazines, which is still in there, by the way, don't, don't worry, has been renamed to Advanced Infantry Munitions and actually now also provides a small bonus to some other infantry units, namely the Hitla and the RPG Troopers. RPG Troopers actually gain a uh, secondary uh, dummy warhead to the launcher, which will actually activate PDL systems while the actual warhead will uh, hit the intended target, provided it is, doesn't uh, have a unit doesn't have more PDL systems than one in case of playing the Avenger. Uh. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I see that uh, Graham was trying to assault this little outpost over here, but the. Uh, uh, Quad cannons uh, did some significant damage, killed off the infantry, uh, killed off the uh, Mishka, and uh, forced the Kodiak into retreat. There we have a BNP, also voiced by Grayon, of course. Yeah, though he should probably send the uh, Kodiak back into the war factory for repairs. Like yeah, just pretty said. much. Well, he, maybe he doesn't realize yet that that is actually a valid option. <laughs> So I see that uh, Grail has expanded over to the uh, north uh, over here with a little lake. Got the, yeah, uh, no, it, the, it has the, the, one of those large docks, so he's gonna have quite a few uh, supplies to tap out from yep. that one. Well, that she is building a stinger site while he has captured both of the oil derricks up here. Uh, did he capture the? He, uh, no, he hasn't captured the uh, refinery just yet, but he. It has to go for the resources down here. Is the Venom voice? Is the Venom team voiced yet? Uh, by Black Ra question by Black Ranger. 13. The Venom team. Well, the Venom Valkyrie is voiced, but we do not have a voice over for the Viking variant of the Venom yet. Need one? Perhaps I could do it. No, it's, it's supposed to be a Polish uh, operator, so we actually try to see if we can get someone who actually speaks the language to do that. 
Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I know a couple of people. Yeah, well, I know someone as well, which I would actually like to ask beforehand. And uh, that she's clearing out the Duck the Garrison tree I'm just made with a Toxin Tractor. Clever, clever. <coughs> Toxin Tractor not upgraded just yet. Yeah, but it doesn't need to upgrade to do that. I mean, uh, they're, no. they're very, very resistant to infantry uh, weapons. Uh -huh. So, zooming in over here, I see a couple of uh, Scorpion tanks, some uh, quad cannons. I don't believe they are upgraded just yet. I do see that uh, the Scorpions do have one missile. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Scorpion rocket upgrade, which many uh -huh. you get. Uh, <coughs> which they all have now. Uh, who is this? What is this? Oh, that's just a uh, missile defender, I guess. Tunnel defender. Right. Yeah. Uh, missile defenders would be the US infantry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I... okay, well, oh, I was about to say people wanted grass, but here's a Ural. we will provide some tier 2 anti-air uh, anti defenses. That's yeah, although Graham doesn't have a lot of air units just yet, so it's not going to do him all that much good. Just yet. No. Launching a surveillance missile out, see what's going on. Uh-huh. He is not yet at tier 3, I believe, although... No, he's, he's building a helipad, so he's gonna go airborne soon. Also see a couple of uh, Muratinos here, uh, voiced by Conrad Crimson. Uh, yes, yeah, so I also just parked two miscues at the front, which are loaded up with infantry. I'm not sure which, though. Uh, Andre, yes. another question from <laughs> Time 1. Are the Russian supply trucks getting a model update too? No, they are not. They have received a minor texture update, but otherwise they're going to rain pretty much the same. Okay, so I'm seeing this uh, Moratino move to the north here. I guess that he's going to try and clear out some of the uh, civilian buildings over here. Yeah, that more certainly looks like it. And there we go. There we go. Clever use, clever use. Yeah. Now he's gonna lose the. Uh, he, he tried. He, yeah, he actually. Yeah, he used the smoke oh. grenade, that was, that was good. But Jarvan Kell is over here. Should we just have yeah, him? He, really he can lock the vehicle down, but he, can actually, he cannot actually kill it. Ah. Now we've got a hunchback with thermo barracks, but not yet the uh, Goliath uh, protection system because, of course, there is no uh, industrial plant just yet. Oh, 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 oh radar outpost. I was getting hyped up for a missile, but nope. Nope. No, no, the missile, uh, missile, uh, <laughs> missiles are obviously also tier 2, and uh, not to mention they don't have a large tower. <laughs> so the no, no, but I, I saw I saw the the scaffolding shape uh, being somewhat wider, and I was like, oh, could that be a missile? But nope. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, seeing another worker. Got to build another stinger site. Oh, he, he Graham is scared for or uh, that she is scared for the the hunchback. I'm curious to see if uh, Graham is going to put some infantry in there as well. I just make a little surprise uh, drop. Need another Euro truck to move over here, in the south. Oh, oh, I see what he's doing. He's, he's actually loading smell troopers into the Miskas. Which basically makes them drive by birds, he knows. Yeah. And another question from Sime 1. Is the Russian supply truck based on any real-life vehicle? Um, well, the front of the truck certainly is. It's the same you truck I was this actually... One, the supply uh, war truck. Supply, supply war truck, yeah. I mean, the front of the truck is based off a real vehicle, but, uh, but the, the, the storage compartment and the whole part where the gun is mounted and all that, that's completely fictional. Uh, yes, the time burner, this is the first match. We uh, <laughs> just started about like uh, 10 minutes ago. We got uh, Dutchy Gamer as GLA versus Grayon as uh, Russia. Let's actually have a look at the money. Dutchy Gamer is sitting here. at. To uh, 1300 at the moment, just jumped up to 1800. Grail, oh my god, Grail, you're not spending your money. I think uh, almost 6500. Oh, now he's moving in with the 
Hunchback. Hunchback, but that, that's not what you should do against Jamal Khan because he's just gonna pop the stinger at that thing. Yep. That's gonna be dead. Yeah, There's a question from Danger Man. Does the Ant Recon upgrade affect the Kodiak tank? Uh, no, that's because it's not the Ant Recon upgrade anymore. Shocking twist. <gasps> but to be honest, all the individual questions regarding new upgrades and all that, I would actually like to preserve that sort of thing for when we do faction spotlights and actually explain them in detail and not do that during the matches. Right, so you want to keep that in mind, folks? Yes, yeah. indeed. Because presumably, sometime before uh, 1.85 releases to the public, we're gonna hold a couple of streams where we just uh, like to go in depth into what everything new is compared to what you guys can play in 1.802. I think, at least. Mm -hmm. We got some mercenaries going up to uh, Grayon's expansion. Right here, you need. Yeah, stealth infantry, which are standing over there, and a couple oh. of new ones are coming in from the west. Yep, see them coming. Uh, I am seeing missile upgrades for Kodiaks. Yeah, that is uh, correct. Yeah, that's the one he was talking about. Oh, yes. Yeah, even the BP <coughs> has them. So, yeah, with the BMP you can also see, because if you zoom in on the turret you can see the rockets mounted on the side of the turret. So where is the BMP? Right here. Okay, the mercenaries just garrison one of the structures, but they're not attacking just yet. No, they're leaving again. They're actually <laughs> destroying! What? <laughs> Yeah, that's a old familiar bug. So unfortunately, something I can't do very much about. Yeah, I saw yeah. that, Mr. Dachi. We see that. So he's speaking again. I know, I know, I know. The uh, grenadiers uh, kill occupied towers. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I'm seeing a nice large force here. Right next to it. Uh -huh. Okay, Grail's making a push to the <laughs> north now. Yep, I see that happening. No, the XB and has got an M a couple of MTP recovery vehicles over there as well. Uh, yeah, he's utilizing the Buratinos to actually clear out the stinger sides. The lever. Uh, not using the barrage in this case on the Buratinos. This one though, he does. Maybe, uh, is not? I think those are shock troopers in, the, in this mission now. Yeah, 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 that's definitely a shock trooper in that particular mission, yeah. Oh. Oh, that guy got, uh, what is it, I believe? He's got blue, yeah, with an anthrax. Oh, oh, now he may get to the large palace in the middle with the nerds, and they're actually wrecking all his vehicles now. Ouch. Painful. Painful. Unfortunately for Graham, this attack ended up in not so much success. And no, now there's salvage all over the place. Yeah, but she should really go for that. But we've got a height in the air. Yeah, well, just got shut down by a stinger. <laughs> oh. uh, Spanner's missile on the way as well. There we go. What is the strongest unit in the, in the boss? Obviously the observer. <laughs> that's not really a unit, though. No, no okay, that's a faction. True, true. It's a faction. Um, I, w I would say the strongest unit that you can build infinitely that is the, definitely the Sentinel. You can pretty much win any one on one encounter unless it's something like, say, uh, unique hero units. Uh -huh. But uh, otherwise, it would be the Manticore because it can soak up so much damage and dish out so much at the same time. But then again, that's also a special kind of unit that you can only get one of. Speaking of Sentinels, it seems that uh, Grail has built a couple of. And also a uh, gold tank voiced by none other than George, aka G, on the chat and on the forums. While Grail is also building some uh, arms dealers. Over here in the... Uh, as you call it, industrial plant. Oh! Uh, now now that she's garrisoning the side building, uh, as I had originally yeah. suggested, basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's painful. 
running, running. Oh, we're seeing some uh, the stars here. Not yet upgraded. I guess that uh, Graham is going to focus on some uh, secondary economy oh, first. Oh, 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 look, 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 look to the west. That giant blend. Ooh, red Ooh, you're right. <laughs> Ooh, you're I right. That. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a right. game ender right there. Marauders, quad cannons, a lot of scorpion tanks. It's, it's, it's the, uh, everything in the kitchen sink, basically. Yeah. And funny enough, he still has to capture the oil there. So he's paying a lot more for his units. Yeah, I guess that's something he didn't lock into or just uh, forgot completely. But he has just about every other asset on the map, so... Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> Quad printer. I don't, I don't think that uh, we're going to need a printer unless that... Uh, that she's saving up for a, I believe it's a rank three general's power. Which one? The the uh, surprise tunnel. Yeah, there's a rank three power. That's correct. I was, yeah, I'll, I'll just call it the surprise tunnel just because it's like surprise butt sex. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it is called the sneak attack, so it's, okay. it's pretty much uh, it's close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Yeah, so it could be that uh, that she's waiting for that uh, to happen first. Uh, actually, yeah, 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 he's, he's, uh, he's, he's moving in for the kill. Oh, the cheek opponent tower here. Yeah, but that, that's gonna kill me for one thing. <laughs> yeah. No engineer can fix that problem. <laughs> nope. Now what is actually causing the anthrax here? Are, are those the uh, the torpedoes? The, the Toxin shells. Ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, that. they have a toxin shell upgrade that makes all of their tank cannons and the buggy mortars as of uh, the new version uh, contain a small amount of anthrax. I see that. Well, that's just moving up for the kill here. Good to see the marauders being used for a change. Boom to gray off. Like that. Conspits, you are not meant to live. And emergency repair on the tanks. <laughs> I hear sentinels can crush vehicles. And yeah, that is correct, although sentinels aren't exactly fast, so it is usually not the most efficient way of doing things. No. Now we've got the uh, tunnel network over here. I guess that this is the uh, sneak attack tunnel. And Graham has been defeated! Yep, and that's our first match for... Yep. <coughs> but I believe that this is what I was afraid of. Uh, this is horrible. Yeah, well, like you said, nothing you can do about it. Yeah. It's not right now. The <clears throat> uh, thing is, I, I, hear a call, I hear a beep every time uh, OBS derps out, and I just keep hearing the beep, so I'm kind of skeptical about just starting up a new game. So I'm looking at my, uh, ah, we're live. So that's, <laughs> that's, yeah. All right, uh, I hope we're back. Stream is back, I see, goody. Then, well, I see Sarah Phoenix, I see Knaz, and that she gave her in gray on. The whole gang. The whole gang, the whole nine yards, and uh, the kitchen sink as well. <laughs> and now everyone dropped out again. Just start a game and then we'll, we'll probably just pop in. I'm not sure what we're gonna do now, but we'll see. 
Right. I will host an 8 player map. We'll see whoever drops in. We'll drop in. Okay, we got Kenja, we got Gonzalez. Uh, Dutchy Gamers in as well. Yes, no, yes, no, maybe, perhaps. With train. <laughs> I don't think there's a two player, but uh, two versus two map that actually has a train right now. Too bad. Alright, so train stock and Kness are in as well. Awesome. Okay. Uh, what would be... be. Okay, so we've got a two versus two prepared. Mm -hmm. Let's see. A good 2v2 two two map. Uh, let's see, Rogue, okay. We still should be live, guys, but uh, I'm seeing in the chat here that uh, the stream has died out again. So I guess it's, it was just buffering. That happens too. Uh, how about... I, I, can check it, I can check it on my end. Yeah, me too. me too. And just tea, but, uh, me too. Yeah, how about no, this it's, one? It's definitely, it's definitely <coughs> live. Yeah, how about this one? This seems like a good 2-2 two, two, uh, map. Victory yeah, that certainly is a good one. Oh, no, no. Victory Valley. Um, I would actually go for the uh, Tournament Tundra that you actually had selected on the uh, stream <laughs> that I'm seeing. Okay. That one is a bit more evened out. Yeah, well, looking <clears> at <throat> the, looking at uh, Victory Valley, that was kind of a capture the middle or die kind of map. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, so Ken just is now suggesting Maguso, that uh, works too. Which one? Maguso, that's a map. Four player as well, I guess. Well, people are calling for trains. Trains. Shut up with your trains. <laughs> oh, Maguso. There we go. That is indeed a good 2v2. But you yeah, don't have to. Um, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. It should be, it shouldn't be long. <clears throat> That map look, looks interesting. Right, and as soon as uh, the hunter joins in again, players have already uh, selected their sites, it seems. Yeah, okay, it's telling me the game is full, so you have to quickly swap maps. Okay. <coughs> I've got a new map. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll do me, 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 Maguso. Right out. Right. <clears throat> now you weren't bad, Graham. You did, actually did pretty well. <laughs> oh, my game just crashed. 
<laughs> well, Kness isn't loading either, so... Uh... Like, it, it didn't even give me an error message, it just went, bloop, back to desktop. Great. Well, yeah, that, that is uh, what happens. It happens off stream, it happens on stream, and it, Dutchy Gamer isn't loading either, so we've got three people not loading. Hooray. Yeah, well, somebody's, uh, Dutchy just mentioned in the chat that he had a series error. Okay. Oh well. Take two. <clears throat> and that, people, is the reason why we can't just release the mod already. As many of you are calling us to. Uh -huh. We have to test things and fix stuff first. Yes. And in the yeah, meantime... Another, th another thing that I would actually like to add to that, uh, if somebody has the impression that streams actually slow down the development progress of the mod, they don't. Well, it's two hours that you could be spending on something else. Yeah, yeah but then I would be spending it on something else than modding. How dare you not spend time on anything but modding? How dare you have a social life of your own? <laughs> How dare you not be a sen sentient AI? Alright, I've hosted the new game. I see that uh, Xanus, the Hunter, and Dutchie are in already, so just waiting for uh, Knaas and uh, the Crimson. Then I'm gonna reselect the map. Critical error on uh, his side. The match crashed because there were no trains. <laughs> now that will be something now, wouldn't it? Alex, seriously. I think I'm gonna put a ban on the word train in my chat, just <laughs> so that I can get you guys to shut Spe up about speaking of Speaking of which, uh, Paul, or uh, Jimmy, um, I'll be right uh, back. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if this uh, is possible in your case, but I've actually seen a couple of uh, channels that actually have their own custom smileys. Is that actually an option for us as well? Uh, well... Or do you have I to be partnered for that as well? You have to be partnered to have your own custom smileys, but if you download uh, an extension for Chrome at least called Better Twitch TV, you can have a whole bunch of uh, other icons. And I actually downloaded that yesterday, and I'm just gonna be okay. uh, uh, just uh, looking through. So we've and got I'm like back on this. the station. We've got uh, like uh, Kapow. Oh, you can start the game now, by the way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> got this one. So, yeah, we've got a couple of... Uh, hey, Pixel Pirate! Glad you could join us, mate. You, should, you guys should check the Pixel Pirate out. He's a friend of the channel. Uh, streams before I do. Uh, he actually continues to stream while I'm streaming, but then he just ends the stream and apparently just seems to be joining me all the goddamn time, which, of course, is awesome. Uh, you know... You should. You guys should really take your time to check him out. Uh, below the movie, this, below the movie, I've got like this whole crap ton of information. Uh, there's a section called Friends of the Channel. You know, I've I've got a link uh, to his channel there. Check him out. He's cool. Right. So let's try this again. Take two. Oh wait. Yeah, uh, you might want to press the start button first. <laughs> no. Big I cross. might want to be observer first. Oh, that, yeah. That's always still a good idea. And now you can start. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. And everyone, everyone is loading. Is loading. <laughs> yeah, and that's that <laughs> emote I can do as well. Alrighty! Right. So we've got Dutchy Gamer back as China. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got uh, Trench Dog as USA, surprisingly. Uh, never seen it play as USA. And Exatus as his favorite GLA, and Kines as his favorite Russia. While the construction well, crane just drives straight through the command center. <laughs> you um, you did actually see a game where Crimson played as USA. That was actually that one uh, game, um, I think, with Omega Bolt, which he, uh, which was a giant grind fest and was actually about oh. to turn in his favor and then mismatched in the end. It was a real shame. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember that one. <coughs> so 
some four escapes. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm playing, or I'm actually observing uh, classic CNC game mods, such as Rise of the Reds. That's my kind of thing. So I see the uh, corner over here, bottom right corner. We've got an oil derrick. Oh, we've got a bridge connecting to. Uh, oh, it seems that. Uh, that, that, wall is, that, that wall is actually just connecting to cliff edges, so you can't actually do anything with okay. it. Okay, it's just a wall. Well, it seems that Crimson and uh, Dutchie so, have already uh, gone to the center. And we got a little skirmish. Fighting, fighting over control for the artillery platform there. Yep. Well, I see that uh, Exodus has uh, built a supply stash tunnel to go for these uh, supplies. I am seeing some red crosses here on the next to the uh, supplies. Um, let me see what you are referring to. Might be some missing graphical elements. Well, if you look at the Exodus's base, you see yeah. where the uh, loose supplies are with the uh, Dushka nest. Um, I'm seeing one, two, three. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are actually not uh, m missing uh, assets or something. Those are terrain assets. Okay. Well, it seems that uh, Crimson has given Dutchie okay to uh, grab the artillery platform as I see a uh, fire base being loaded up. Oh. Dutchie yeah. trying to take out a Mishka over there with a Gatling cannon. Well, the Mishka, right. obviously, using a similar armor as tanks, actually doesn't actually. Uh, get a whole lot of damage from the Gatling Cannon. Uh -huh. right, we got some bikes here going in on the Crimson's base. I see that going on, yeah. Quick little attack, while Crimson just finished his uh, airport. Indeed. Well now his uh, dozer is in danger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing, he's gonna drive circles around the building or something. I don't know. Those bikes are fast as hell. It comes uh to uh, save today with a couple of hopper tanks. Yeah, and we also a, have uh, a guardian drone. Single guardian drone as well. There we go. That's Fly a little the bikes. Guys. Fly. Fly. And Dutchie's going for the oil derrick over here. I'm seeing a beacon being placed. By, well, that's a uh, lone Kodiak tank doing a, a Okay, that has to be a first time. I've never seen a Kodiak tank being used to harass a supply dock before. Okay. It's, like, it's like the slowest ass tier zero tank in the game, and he actually managed to sneak one in the back of the base over there. That's uh, pretty pretty amazing, yeah. actually. Yeah. Well, Kodiak has actually managed to capture the oil derrick here in the, uh, the northwest. Yeah, see that? Uh, th that's it. Those are the only two oil derricks, then. Mm-hmm. Like it. Okay. Well, it seems that we have a uh, black hawk that was trying to do something here. But he got uh, quickly sent back by a couple of them, uh, quad cannons. See some more bikes. Yes, never lose the great. Of course, you should watch this live because then I can actually interact with you and uh, comment on what you say. That's the whole point of streaming live. Otherwise, I might as well just uh, record this kind of stuff and upload it to YouTube without actually uh, doing anything as an interaction to watch the chat, right? Figure that out. It's kind of the same as watching a football match. It's not as much fun as when you watch it recorded. Well, what fun is there into watching football matches anyway? <laughs> Yeah, well, it's just something that a lot of people could relate to. It's not necessarily something that I or you have to like. Oh, oh is this a... That's a barracoot, right? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, no, that is, a, that, that is a that so is a so-called one. I'm always confused between the two of those. Because so the barracoot, I just... barracoot is pitch black, so that's pretty oh, yeah. easy to distinguish. Okay, well... <clears throat> You can also tell by the fact that the Sokol is the only stealth jet that the Russians have. Right. So yeah, we've got a couple Fine of Sokols in work. here. Yep. So yeah, we've got a couple of Sokols in here already. Uh, Kinea's going for air-to-air uh, -air combat, I guess. Third Sokol yeah, and, um, is being the uh, uh, 
Prince Dog is building some more uh, more drones. It seems like he just bought a build a couple of AT drones. He's trying to mount some sort of small offensive with his drones just now. Yeah, anti terror drone. Yeah, and he just did, uh, killed a couple of workers using the Black Hawk. Very nice. clever. Nice. Now he's digging in the drones uh -huh. to uh, you get that uh, extra damage reduction on them. Circles are blue on snow maps. That is correct. Okay. They have a different look on snow maps. Right. And they are way better than football. <laughs> and this is way better than zero hour. All right. So, so what's better than this then? Sex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're getting drunk. Oh, okay, okay. I'm actually kind of. Oh, here come the circles. The same thing. Yep. Oh, oh, and digging in actually saved the Guardian Road over here. Yeah, but they're gone now, but not without, without doing that damage and the uh, amount of stuff that... Uh, <coughs> they don't need... Xanus just lost with what's greater than the stuff that, uh, what's it called, um... Oh, we got a Hunter Killer in the air. Yep. Wonder yeah. what that's gonna do, but it, can, it, can, it cannot attack uh, infantry units. Uh -huh. It's just patrolling the area now. Oh, Dutchie just found one of the tunnels that was uh, uh, placed by Xadus in the south. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh, uh, Trench Dog actually just managed to harass the uh, supply trucks from Kenjas uh, there. He didn't actually manage to kill them, but he severely damaged them. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I see the circles returning back to base. I'm guessing they're order guy about to strike something, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're attacking the airfield now. Oh, yeah. Gatling cannons trying to take them out. Not sure Please. if they will succeed. Oh, oh airfield gone. Yeah, but they managed to get one of the uh, so-called as well, or two in fact. Okay. War Factory Strategy Center. So, Crimson is going to go for tier two right now. Yeah, Kenjas is already in tier two with his industrial plant. Beacon placed by Kenjas. Something's going to go go on over here. Oh. Yeah, we might we might be pointing something out to Xadas that can be the case as well. Yeah, okay, but as soon as I see a beacon, I I just want to go there just to see what's going on. Yeah. Okay, uh, seems like uh, uh, Mr. Trench Dog is mounting another small uh, strike with his drones. Yep, the terror drones, guardian drones, probably sent, uh, sentry drone. No, oh, just guardian drones. That, uh, no, there's a sentry drone in the group as well. Oh yeah, right there. There's some Musta in the back, uh, backing up uh, <coughs> Sadis' defense there. Yep. With the coalition of it, no less. Mm -hmm. I, I have to admit, I'm kind of surprised that uh, we've got this kind of team up. I would expect that with the experience that both Sadis and Kanaz have, that uh, they would be against each other. Yeah, um, well, apparently they agreed not to, so. Uh, they are if they're okay with it, I'm fine with that as well. And the, the match seems to be going pretty evenly so far. Yeah, pretty much. They, both parties have had their moments and their not so moments. Uh huh. Another question for you, Andre, from Simon again. Is the Circle using new voiceovers? Yes, it is. Voiced by George, nonetheless. There you have it. The Brit doing the Russian. Yep, and you'll probably never hear a Dutchman doing Russian because I actually uh, thought no, 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 that's incorrect. I did the Russian uh, missile silo command. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't hear me doing a Russian voiceover anymore. <laughs> oh, nice. Anti terror drone going after an infantry. Or, and actually like, managed to get. Uh, I don't think he actually killed him because uh, I think the rocket buggy's uh, friendly fire actually killed the uh, rocket gun there. Oh, okay, I just okay. uh, heard the first. Okay, a Cyclops just took out a Sokol there. So the Cyclops turrets have been uh, busted out. 
Oh yeah, right here. Seeing some uh, RPG conscripts. No power plants by <coughs> so busting out the uh, secondary economy here by Kanaz, of course. Oh, yeah, well, when isn't there not today a ma or a match uh, where uh, Ken just doesn't focus heavily on uh, getting a secondary economy up and running? I don't know. <laughs> and the Kanaz uh, upgraded with the Coalition uh, guns. So we've got double the barrel, double the fun. As I don't remember one of the quotes being. They can go on both the fire bases and the, uh, the artillery platforms. He has another KM uh, star there doing bombardments as well. Oh, and, uh, and Tramstock doing another small drone attack in the uh, south. So yeah. space there. Keep harassing him. Also, I think an adventure uh, over there as well. And see the uh, microwave tank there too. Mm hmm. Uh, and I think... Zed is making a move with the bomb truck in the center. Oh, I see that. That was a bit of a waste though. I mean, the bomb truck costs a lot more than the barracks he just blew up. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Another IPT recovery vehicle. TP. Circles in the air again. Another later outpost. Whoa! Nice little tank force here, Dutchie. As the uh, oil derrick oh, has been destroyed. Yeah, Dutchie actually took out the oil derrick. Well, Kenjes is already mounting some sort of uh, counter offensive to that. At least he parked a sentinel and a couple of infantry there near that part of his base. Yep, also has the Besta, of course. Uh, yeah, the, the Mustaches are just continuing their bombardment, but now they're actually being countered with the uh, new Wasp drones. So they've taken out just one of them just now. Oh yeah, a little Wasp drones. Yeah, and that's just pointing out the uh, obvious uh, army over there. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a, is there gonna be a bomb dropped on that or what are we gonna see? I'm not seeing anything happening on the mini map just yet. I think oh, yeah. he, he just he just finished three mustaches at his factory, so he might just you know go ahead and poke him with the uh, artillery rounds from those. Yeah, I also see another RPG component tower here as a build war factory has been built. So let's see, one, two, uh, three, four. I'm just counting the war factories here, but I can ask them. I'm seeing four war factories so far. I'm kind of disappointed in him. Oh, he actually has another one in Exodus space, so... Yeah, I counted that one too. Okay. And the wasp drone managed to, or the wasp drones managed to take out both the stars just now. <laughs> and now he's harassing the Dushkin nest with them. Okay, well, uh, Kenji's artillery fire with the Mustache was enough to put Dutchie back in his place. For now. But I am seeing Tomahawks uh, over here. Ah, uh, yes. At least one. Not using the uh, cruise missile upgrade. Well, that's not an upgrade, it's an ability that they ability. have by default. I think. I meant ability. Yeah. For some ah, okay. reason. Okay, yeah, although the, uh, the, the faster missiles have a better chance of piercing, you know, defenses and all that because they, uh, they are both faster and they can actually take more hits before they explode. And, uh, you know, when one of the uh, missiles explodes, they can cause a chain reaction, killing all the missiles mid-air. Yeah. Well, we got a wasp uh, hive over here. Got some uh, drones coming in as well as the microwave tank was uh, blocking one of the things. Let's see if Let's just keep on bombarding. Oh, it seems like uh, Ilya is moving in. Oh, he's actually using infantry to take out the bunker. Very clever. Because the bunker is probably uh, 
What's his width with the uh, heavy armor? Covers. Exactly. Yeah. That's why he always puts uh, at least like one or two pyros in there as well. That actually optimizes the effect. The pyros are decent against ground units as well. Oh, it, it, oh we got a targeting satellite. The, uh, satellite. Nice. So everything uh, fires about one and a half times faster. Exactly. Andre, another question from Black Ranger. Who is the voice actress for the Valkyrie Venom? I wouldn't know the, the person by name, but it's actually an external voice actor who we offered a uh, position in the credits and all that, and she actually agreed to doing a voiceover for us. Oh. <coughs> well, does he get a touch of already? Yep. He has been defeated, giving off everything that he owes to his uh, ally. Reaper. Is that a saying that he's worthless? Well, I wouldn't say that, but uh, well, you, you could have done a little more damage though. See another bomb truck over here. Yeah, well, knowing Tra Trainzog, he's probably going to stick around until he's completely dead. <laughs> knowing knowing Trainzog, he would do it. The satellite actually reveals a bit of the uh, the map, if I'm not mistaken. Plus, everything that fires on it from your end, on whatever is within the uh, range, will fire one and a half times faster. Yeah. So, for instance, with, uh, with a couple of mistakes, that would result <laughs> in... Plenty of damage. My partner had no faith in the drones, yeah. I know. There goes the bomb truck. Oh, painful. And you just saw that performance. I have to be honest, I think this matchup was pretty unfair right from the get go. Yeah. When it comes to the skill of the players as I know them. Yeah, well, they, in the end, they did agree on it. Yeah. Well, I, I think I do see uh, Jarvan Kell over here. Yeah. The sky's bomb trucks. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Really, <laughs> I really like the way the uh, uh, what do you call the AT drones look. I actually haven't seen them in action all that much since I actually added them. It's actually nice. I've seen I've seen them once or twice during this particular game. Yeah. Oh, we got Fair a uh, grass printer over here. Yep. A little uh, sneak attack tunnel. Oh, the boom! Directly on top of the infantry. Nasty. Yep. But all the grass are destroyed already. Mm, apparently. But the tunnel is still intact, so it can be used whenever. Unless the, uh, that's that sentry drone actually destroy it, but it doesn't seem unlikely. Andre, can you give us a percentage of uh, how, how far this recycling uh, system is done? Uh, just as much as the last time you asked, basically. Whoever that may be. Uh, it was uh, Black Ranger 13. Which means... Well, ju well, just as much as last time that was asked in that case, then. Pretty much... Nowhere. And missiles. On Kodiaks. Uh. And the, uh, the AT drones are now taking out the uh, Kodiaks there. Making a run for the Mustar. Question from Elgo Yen. What kind of armor does the AT drone have? Infantry like to make them resistant to tank shots. Yeah, something similar like that. They have their own unique armor set actually, which is not really comparable to either. Like they still take more damage from anti tank weapons than most infantry uh, do. Uh, but, but less than, than normal vehicles, so they can actually survive a direct hit from a sandbox, for instance. Like it is not a it's not cost efficient to use tanks against the uh, AT drones. Because four AT drones can basically kill a sentinel in, 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 in less than ten seconds. If they manage to get close, that is. Of well course. the tunnel is gone now. 
Uh, Darky, you missed that Dutchy Gamer gave up. Um, so it's basically a two on one right now. And of course, due to the fact that the drones are so small, German Kill can actually one shot them. Or severely damage them. As do other snipers. Mm -hmm. Now we got a special forces para drop here. Okay. There's some home piece that, uh... Delta Force operators in green berets, which are infinite. All, all of those units dropped are not accessible by default. Okay. Well, well yet, anyway. these are the barricades, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct, those are the barricades. Yeah. And Kinaz actually making another airfield. Ah, that's also just destroying <laughs> what's left of the special forces drop there. Yeah. Kenjaz and uh, Exanus both moving in from the north with another sneak attack on the Dutch's former base. See that? Go to the command center. There we go. And a mismatch! <laughs> well, the game was pretty much decided anyway. <laughs> yeah. At this point, it was just going to be a slow and painful struggle for Mr. Uh, uh -huh. Mr. Crench Dark until the uh, very end. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Let's see. You still can't get this to work, British teapots. Lars, could you uh, drop him a link to uh, support forums? Uh, one second. Well, I'll go host a new uh, game. I think I... Uh... Three player, free for all. Just have to handle some questions here first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what was that thing with the support forum you mentioned? Well, yeah, somebody asked that he couldn't get it to work and he was, uh, Paul asked if you could drop a link to the support forum for him. As in ours? Yes. Ah, sure. I believe that uh, from that drop now we've got nine tanks being dropped, three of each, right? The armor reserves. Yes. Yeah, that should be uh, three of each type. Three tanks, three shield kits, and three, uh, what are they called, BRDMs. Just uh, see what the players want. <coughs> Set yourself to the observer faction rather than the random faction. Perhaps I want to play. Okay, well, if you want to. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We'll just have a one versus one. Uh, 
train or your brain? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to uh, get a ban on the word train on my uh, my channel here. Yeah. Uh, and in the meantime, folks, uh, have a look at the links. To, uh, have a look at the info section below uh, the video. I've uh, thanks to the hunter, I've got a bunch of new images. Uh, a couple will lead to other links, uh, amongst which uh, one will lead to a countdown, which I'm going to be updating every or after every single stream, to the point uh, to showcase you when the next stream is going to be and what the next stream is going to be. Uh, most other links, I've got my uh, Facebook, my uh, sub, my sub forums here at uh, SWR, my Twitter, my YouTube channel. Uh, I've got a uh, links to the mods that I'm streaming. I've got uh, a couple of people that I want you to check out that I consider to be friends of the channel. Um, so yeah, check those um, out. Travis Dog actually wants to play as uh, GLA, so you might want to have to uh, switch something real quick. Yep. I want to showcase Mercs. Yeah, actually, he did voice the Mercs, right? That's correct. Yeah. The Mr. Darkey voice. wants to see the cameo of the Chinese Firestorm shell upgrade, if that is in any way possible during the game. If I know which one has it, then I'll gladly show it. But yeah, basically, you just, just click an Inferno cannon. Yeah, basically. But it's basically just the, the, the look of the image itself. It's just a bunch of shells with a big, you know, explosion behind it. A napalm explosion, no less. Not rocket science, more like shell science. <laughs> yeah, shell science. <laughs> I'm a shell scientist. Ballistics, I suppose. The which map did I have again? Swiss Mountain, in the official listing. Derp. My brain is kind of derping out at the moment. I'm, I uh... must be the heat. No, not really. Just kind of my frustration. Uh, what's been going on with my condition the last couple of days? Can I imagine that being very frustrating? Yes. Okay, looks I've actually like we're had good that to go. too. I see what you did there, Alex Hardwood, and I do not agree with you. Your phone is loading. <coughs> right there. It's actually scattered around. We've got some uh, urban areas. We've got an oil derrick over there. The oil derrick over here. Some more urban areas with it. Seems we are losing French dog. Yes. Oh dear. But he's not actually even uh, moving any. Oh! Looks Two oil like derricks. it's semi-stable now. One oil derrick. One oil derrick. No oil derrick. But it seems that someone was doing the laundry here. Great detail, even though there's another oil derrick over there. Uh, yeah, so we've got uh, Mr. Pink GLAs. Manly is GLA around. Indeed. This was also actually the very map on which we showcased the Venoms. Really? Yes, indeed. That one video you made showcasing the Venoms was this map. Cool. That is correct. Cool. Here's another question from White Metal Seasun. I suppose you want to answer that one, Andre, because it's kind of complex. Is it possible to kind of like reactivate the multiplayer servers for CNC? A private bunch of people also did that for Empire Earth. They implemented something like a match into the game. I suppose you have more on that. Uh, well, well, something like that is certainly possible. You can make your own VPN uh, to do something like CNC, now, but actually rebooting the old servers, uh, which are now down, by the way. The uh, General's Online is no more, as well as uh, online services for many other games like Battlefield, uh, Battlefield 2 no less, and a bunch of other uh, Battlefield games as well. Uh, although I have actually seen uh, websites popping up from uh, people trying to, uh, you know, re uh, uh, set up their own server for Battlefield multiplayer because, quite frankly, there's not much point to that game without multiplayer. But um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know the exact details about that. I mean, uh, 
somebody is going to start up their own uh, server uh, for uh, Command and Conquer, then uh, yeah, well, that's that. <laughs> something they would have to do. We will probably remain using Amachi or other VPN services. And I'm seeing a uh, technical uh, rush over here. Oh, yeah. oh yes, I see indeed. A bunch of uh, the terrorists. Indeed. Going Whoa, for supply trucks. Instantly taking off the supply trucks. The other one going for the dozer. <laughs> Boom. Bye. And another one popping out next to the command center, running yep. after the, the, the troop crawler. I just look like, at them oh. waving their hands around. <laughs> Did you see that? He dropped off one right in front of the troop crawler, drove over it, boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's actually kind of unusual because no, most people actually just unload uh, all the, the terrorists in one spot and then just, you know, ram them all into the command center or something. Uh -huh. That was some very clever use of the uh, technical rush, with the, or the terror attack rush, as it is, as it is often referred to. Yeah, well, the technical is driving back to the base now. Yep. Giving zero fucks and crushing all the trees. What is this environment? I live in desert. Well, yeah, Prince is going to go hard in this one. Yeah, well, to be fair, he did the. Uh... Very dense terrain obviously gives him a bit of an advantage as well. And there's a lot of hills that he can potentially uh, build tunnels on and all that. Uh -huh. Mark is also uh, familiar with on this particular map. Oh yes. <laughs> Incidentally, this is the same map that we used to uh, make that little preview video of the Venom with its abilities and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah I actually Andre mentioned Andre literally that. just said that a couple of months ago. <laughs> As I'm seeing a dragon take, uh, take care of some of the trees over here. And the Dushka uh, that's somewhere yeah, in the Dushka uh, The Dushka nest, indeed. There we go. Now so going for this oil, Derek. I did see this. Uh, oh, he's got a dozer over here as well. Good. I see a listening outpost over here. <coughs> so that she actually knows what's going on in uh, Crimson's base. As I see the black market. Uh, barracks tunnel. Just, just looking around. Vehicle maintenance. I believe we've got a couple of works out. Indeed. Some of them are hiding in the trees right now. Great ideas, yes. Actually, uh, there's also some uh, near the oil derrick where the stinger side is. They're like right uh, to the right of that particular oil derrick under the trees. Uh, where exactly do you meet? That's a total uh, Well, I guess you hit them well enough that you can see them. Okay, they're moving now. All oh, right, here. Yeah. Okay, they. Okay, Toxic Tractor just cleared out the garrison near the Gatling Cannon. Now he's moving in with a hijacker and a Merc. Yeah, just place the demo trap on the top of the hill here. Demo trap of the hill? <laughs> demo trap on top of the hill. Yeah, yeah. It just sounded kind of funny. Oh. Yeah, they're using their machete mode to actually run past that Gatling Cannon. Ignoring it largely. Uh -huh. There we go, Garcity. Which is to say, yes, the game now has knife runners in it. Indeed. Wow, that Grand Adair has a long range. Yeah, the yes. Grand Adair can outrange basic defense. They want the, <coughs> not the, the more sophisticated defense structures, but basic defense they can certainly outrange. Cool. Cool. Okay, let's see if uh, Dachi has actually got some uh, Inferno cannons out already. Well, I don't think he like does. it, but he, he does have. Uh, he did take out the oil derrick on the, the large hill in the center. Yep. Hey, that hurts! Hey, that hurts! He's up for ya! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. 
Toxin Tractor took out all of those infantry and they're now retreating from the village because they know what's good for them. Yeah, I, the I don't want to... Oh, so here comes oh, a uh, Han gunship to save the day. Except that it was too late for the infantry. Yep. There it goes. Let's actually have a look at the money, shall we? I haven't done that in a while. Uh, it seems that the uh, train stock just dropped below uh, 1200. The Dutch gamer is sitting at uh, 45 or 2500. Oh, he's using the dragon tanks to just clear out a lot of the trees here. Yeah, I think, I think he's just paranoid with the fact that there might be bombs or, or other explosives or tunnel networks hidden uh, there and all that, and that's why he was using that. Another question what? from uh, Ranger. Who voiced the Pandora artillery? That would be our Norwegian teammate Stig. A.K.A. Okay, Dragon Nor. Indeed. I know that Trakador has uh, been voicing a bunch of units in uh, general in uh, Rise of the Reds. He has also voiced some other units in, for instance, Metal Omega. Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned, Dragonor is pretty much everywhere when it comes to mods. I've seen him do stuff for Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, and a whole bunch of other games as well. Oh. Yeah, he's active. He's out there. Indeed. Well, just a couple more dragon tanks. Just want to clear out the trees, of course. You can smell the burning trees now. Who needs trees if you've got burning trees? Shockwave actually used to have a mini game where you had to burn as many trees as possible and uh, stop police officers from uh, from killing your dragon tank. Well, that was so long ago. <laughs> yeah, but it's still there. We even had a little contest back then. Was for really? like beta testing slots. Yeah, we oh? actually had a, held a contest to be, become a beta tester using uh, a couple of mini games, and the higher people with the highest scores would get in. <laughs> well. And there was uh, were three mini games: a Chinese one where you had to burn down as many trees in a very large forest as possible. <coughs> After a while, the police would show up and try to stop you. Okay. And it was on try because you're driving a freaking flame tank. And um, then there was the GLA mini game where the was it like a workers' revolt, and you actually had a toxin tractor, and you had to survive as long as possible because all these workers would be trying to storm your uh, your toxin tractor and hit it with hammers until the thing all dies. And then there would also actually show up workers which actually had shoes and they would run faster and all that. And the American mini game was basically sort of like a commando style mission, and you had to complete that as quickly as possible, and your score was effectively how quickly you finished the mission. Ah. If I'm not mistaken, Dragonor also did the gorilla for Metal Omega. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. I can recognize his voice from that one. As well as the Sentinel. Yeah, I already see uh, Grail saying that in the uh, chat. The Sentinel for Metal Omega, not the one from Rise of the Reds, of course. Yep. Don't be confused, people. Don't be confused. <clears throat> yeah, it's one of those generic names that pop up in all sorts of fiction, like Guardian, Juggernaut, Predator, Reaper, and all that. Exactly. But there is none where there is an alcoholic as a unit name. Oh, let's see. That what's would be unique. Let's see what we got here. Got a grand, a couple of scorpion tanks, a uh, quad you're all And you're all taking out a Han gunship that was hovering over the village over there? Yeah, just uh, missiles crossing the river. Oh, that's and a cute question. Mr. Alex Harwood, if the minigames were implemented in red, what minigame would you think we'd have for ECA and Russia? Well, that would be a good one. I have actually no idea. Interesting thought exercise. Indeed. I think that for uh, ECA that would be something more like uh, uh, a tower uh, a tower defense mission mini game. Yeah, but how, how would you actually win or get a high score in that particular game? Uh, well, increasing increasing the difficulty of each wave and uh, just eventually even with super weapons and all. 
Yeah, I suppose you could do something like that, although the mini games were also supposed to be slightly comical. I mean, the mission, the commando style mission with Colonel Burton uh, was basically to destroy a Microsoft HQ, which would have was supposed to uh, release the, the Nightmare Edition of Windows XP that made your computer explode, like the intro even showed a little house with the Windows startup sound and it just exploded out of that. Oh, there goes the breeder reactor, but she was unable yeah. to sell it in time. Yep, and indeed, and that particular uh, area is uh, heavily contested now. Yep, it's is. Well, for, contested uh, in the sense that it's uh, the people are fighting for control over it now, although Dutchie has a slight advantage there with the amount of uh, troops that he already has in place. Uh -huh. Got a uh, speaker lord over there. Utilizing the... Uh, Oh, now you can actually show the, the um, Firestorm shell upgrade because the MiG bombers actually also have that if you click on one of those. If I can, if I can click on one of those, that is. Well, you can click on them on the airfield. <laughs> ah, yeah. So that would be the most bottom one, I'm guessing? No, no, the middle one with the, the shells. The, bo the bottom one is oh, the black yeah. one, which is still grayed out right now. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I, uh, I can't zoom in on the uh, icon here, but this is how it looks like. And German just took out another airship in the center. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's just probably start whipping out the troop trawlers instead of the airships because they're just, you know, like 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 freaking candy to German Cal right now. It's like the biggest, the fattest target that he can shoot with a missile. Uh -huh. Throw carrier. Wouldn't that be something like the wasp hive? The drone carrier? Um, I'm not sure what you're referring to. I see something in the chat mentioned from a drone carrier, but I'm not sure what was mentioned before that. Some questions about Navy. If the Navy won't be general specific, why is it left for 2.0, especially since the existing Navy features imbalance and almost always avoid it, asks Darkey. Well, quite frankly, because making such ships takes quite a bit of time. And we do not consider it as important as actually making the uh, original game as we intended it to the finished first. Simply put, faction-specific navy is going to be another one among the 2.0 features. It doesn't have to do with the fact that the generals are also a 2.0 feature. It's just a thing that's on the list for 2.0. Well, and it's about that time that I'm starting to cross my fingers, because it was about an hour ago that my connection dropped out. Got a little skirmish here on top of the hill. Yeah. Taking out the speaker tower, now all some tanks, I guess. Was going for the speaker tower at first, but now it's just uh, going head on. Dropping some bombs there as well. What's it like, Napal? Yeah, although Firestorm's doing quite a lot of damage even without Black Napal. Uh -huh. Speaking of Firestorm, have you shown the cameo yet? Yep. Yes, he has. Good. More burning off the trees. Other questions from Ranger. Who voiced the Manticore? Who voiced, Who voiced the Manticore? Uh, the Manticore was also voiced by a volunteer. From a volunteer squad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a Chinese a volunteer from the volunteer squad actually voiced... Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Oh! My god, am I seeing this correct? Yes, it seems that uh, down here in the south um, we had a little hijacking going on now. That uh, Crimson has gotten a hold of an overlord tank with speaker towers. 
Oh yeah, and the speaker what? bonuses actually will affect his units as well. Which means his units now get a 50% uh, rate of fire bonus when they are within range of the speaker lord. Oh, I see a Shenlong rolling out of the factory. That's one juicy target for the hijacker, but the hijacker is currently detected by the, the sensor tower on top of the hill. Yep. Think no. Oh, no, the hijacker got smoke before he got to the Shenlong. <laughs> yep. Barbecue dogs! Indeed! And he By might the way, it has been the cone of fire in that case, because that's gonna kill all of his vehicles. Andre, wow. another question from Never Lose the Great. Have you ever thought of doing tanks able to drive backwards? Um, to be honest, uh, I don't think there's any legitimate way to possible to make that work properly. Uh, I know some of the wheeled vehicles can do that if you click very closely behind them, but that is not very reliable because if you click slightly too far, it will not work. Oh, and the grad just took out the, uh, the Shenlong there with a couple of missiles uh, that barely scratched it, but it was enough to kill it. Yeah. We see some uh, elite and uh, her heroic uh, red guards. On the, MiG, on the MiG bombers to take out the uh, grad, except that they can drop all the bombs on the structure instead of the grad. Yeah, the grad is just driving away like. No! Yeah, turns out. Well. So that happening. Incoming problem. We've got a couple of more uh, Scorpion tanks. Uh, he might want to take out that sensor tower, however, because as long as that thing is on top of that hill right there, Dutchie will be able to observe his every move down yeah. there. Which is a very dangerous thing as long as there's pigs in here. Mm -hmm. Driving into a firestorm is also a very unhealthy thing to do. Yeah, here comes another shed one. Going straight for the uh, grads. Yeah, you want to do that. Oh, he could just shut that down from a German right now. Okay. Lovely. Black Maple is active. Yeah, this was what I was afraid of. Alright, are, are we back? Well, you're back on Skype anyway. Yeah, but... Uh, you have been defeated. The game is over on my end, at least. Uh, the yeah, the game is st still going here, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and quit and then see what, uh, what they are gonna do. Yeah, well... They're, they might want to finish their match regardless. I hope they do, because it was getting pretty interesting. And once again, folks, I apologize for this. It's nothing that... I can do anything about. Uh, not at least, not at least until Tuesday when I'm going to be bitching at my uh, ISP. Because this is seriously getting consistent. And as I said in in the chat yesterday, it happened exactly at one minute after the hour, every single hour. And now it seems to happen at 24 after every hour, every single hour. So, Admiral Pitt, I don't think your sadness can stack up to mine when it comes to this. Alright, I think we will have time for one more game, but I am afraid that I'm gonna have to uh, exit out because losing connection also means losing connection to that. Which means I'm gonna have to restart. Well, that happens, but no KVSP. Yeah, we're back. I hope. Question from Never Lose. Why do heavy tanks like Overlord explode so little when it is destroyed, unlike Sentinel? Well, that's just a visual thing, really. Can't make it all look the same. There wouldn't be a point to it. Not to mention that uh, overlords 
do blow up quite nasty if they have the nuclear upgrade to them. There's also another reason for this. The Sentinels were supposed to, uh, uh, intentionally not uh, possible to, uh, you know, recover using the recovery power or an MTP. And to justify that sort of thing, I actually made it so that the entire turret just blows up. Because if, if you look at the Manticore, ra or Manticore, I mean Sentinel wreckage, it actually has no turret remaining, whereas the Overlord, for instance, does. Think of it as a sort of self-destruct feature. Purely visual, of course. Yeah. Mars, could you drop the link to uh, where, where people can find Gentle? Just do a, you, can, you can actually find it on Google and it will be your first link, really. Probably. I can do I'll that try. quick, though. I mean, we're not in games yet. Yeah. Here we go. All right, so what are we going to do next? Uh, one more. Uh, 1v1, I think. Because we've got about half an hour left. And after that I'm gonna call it quits because this is just getting annoying. Alright. Let's see what we've got. Will uh, Darky asks, will Rise of the Reds bring the random reveal? The random reveal. If you're referring to the part where Shockwave basically showed what your opponent was playing as if you should like the random, that's probably a no. Oh. Kness versus Grayon? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think that's what he was getting at. Will randoms be visible in 1.85, or do we have to scout them out? Yeah, scout them out. I mean, this was only I mean, we an have issue. a scout system for that very purpose. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was only an issue in, in Shockwave, because, you know, Shockwave, like Zero Hour, didn't have scout units. On Bridge Wars. Mm, better not. Nope. Yeah. Gonna get a wee bit choky around that bridge. Yep. All right. <coughs> Grail dropped. <laughs> well, Cracker, that is not gonna happen. You're not gonna see me play. <laughs> um, I've done it once on stream. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, my commentary just drops down to absolutely nothing. And uh, I value interaction with you guys and commentary just a lot more than I value playing and uh, that is why on most of my streams uh, even the other mods that I do I just don't play I observe because that is my thing uh, Winding River, no we've done that one before uh... yeah never lose is pointing out that players should probably swap their colors because <laughs> Yellow uh, Russia versus Maroon ECA. That's basically the official colors swapped. <laughs> but that's not a real big deal. Uh, oh, oh, I see what you did there, Paul. <laughs> oh, that's an uh, old familiar map. Oh, Another no, one. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which other... Uh, which other one does have a... Uh, a steam powered, I believe. Vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wasn't it Redding Blood? 
no, no. Um, it was another desert map. I think Desert Disaster, I think it's called. Desert Disaster. It's a two player map. It's not in the unofficial maps, then. Uh, not in uh, the I'm official maps either. Mm, it should be one of the first ones in the official list. It's the same one which um, which you played on a while back when uh, the um, Comrade was actually, or Lewis was uh, doing co commentary. Where the Shenlongs were first showcased. Uh, Desert Fury, perhaps? Could be. I think it was. No, that one has no train. Pretty sure. No, I, I think it's an unofficial map, to be honest, but we can go with this as well. Cent uh, Central Station. Well, that would have Office. one for sure, but that, that map is too, uh, too goddamn long. Well, since I got dropped out, I can actually quickly check what the map was called. Yeah. We're gonna do a train map, guys. Just for you. That Desert Battle, that's what it was called. Desert Battle. It's in the okay. unofficial list. I see it. So I'm gonna open up a. Uh, yeah, although some, for some reason somebody. Uh, I'm, I'm still in your game. Or, oh, no, wait. Never mind. Desert Battle is the one you want. Okay. That one has a train and it's not a night map. I like trains. I like trains. You totally don't see all the messages left in this chat. According to stream. Let's see then. Okay, we're good to go, it Forgotten seems. Forest, yeah, I know. <clears throat> seems like everyone is loading. Grand too? Yep. Okay, well, I'll, I'll trust you then. Yeah, it's that he has only one, uh, one of the stripes of the loading bar is loaded. But that's usually enough to get loaded at all. Yeah, but it doesn't appear on bar. my side. Okay. Yet. Could it be that it's just that you're unable to see it due to the fact that you're looking at your TV screen? Because it's just one pixel, basically. That yeah, could be. Question from... How the hell do I pronounce that? Hell Rookie something. In short words, will Rise of the Reds have any Steam support in the future? <laughs> a Steam support for a mod, yeah, that would be quite something. Now, considering the original <laughs> game isn't on Steam, I don't think this one will be either. I would love to, though, but yeah, that's not really something that's in my hands or in or in a possibility to us. No, look! It looks like everybody's. Look! Look! Three! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so for now, no Rise of the Red Steam achievements or trading cards. I'm sorry. Nope. So I hope you guys are happy now. Well, I guess you could have a Steam Engine achievement. <laughs> <laughs> Supply stash. Oh look, trades. Trades. And for those that haven't done it, hit that follow button. Do it. Come on, do it now! Do it now! Now! Wait, what? Hit the follow button, that's what we were talking about. Ah, yeah. so you weren't talking to me? No. No, 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 we're just doing, oh, we're just doing random Arnie impressions, because well, why the hell not? Wow! <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger has the easiest scripts of all time. It's just like, look out, get out, get into the chopper. <laughs> I'm not going to join in on this. <clears throat> you don't have to, it's entirely optional. <laughs> Good <are> you. <laughs> yes. Do what Nightbot says. Uh, Grayon, that is gonna hurt you! Or Kadesh, that is gonna hurt you. Just placing that guard tower directly onto the tracks. Because, oh, because, okay. because! Here, here, here. <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> 
that's 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 uh, one uh, cut off, one for the train. <laughs> oh, fuck it, train. <laughs> yep, You're making it too easy for him. Why is Bruce absent? Because Bruce wasn't able to play today. <laughs> okay, one kill for the train. Done. Go go power train, sir. He <laughs> says on the chat. <laughs> yeah. Go go catch a train. Okay, so it seems that Kras has uh, moved up here to the north. Gotta go for the uh, radio station, obviously. The engineer I like there. how the train actually stopped right after it crushed that building. Yep. Very funny. I could have stopped before you, but fuck you, I won't. Shoot you! Shoot you! Oh, there! Okay. But I'm gonna be banning the word train just, just to annoy you guys. <laughs> and an engineer just got run over by the train. Oh, seriously? Yep, and he's like lying right in front of the tracks right now. You can still see him because he has that uh, revive cross. <laughs> oh, and Ken just, just conveniently placed a beacon for him as well. I see. That train is out <laughs> to plot today. He just added the smiling to the beacon. <laughs> I see it. I see it, I see it. I, I actually missed the uh, killing, so that's two for the train then. For poor Knast, just lost two things to the train already. Luckily, he did lose Another the. Another uh... question from Sim One: Will the ECA engineer get their own voice service, replacing the Red Alert voice service? Might at some point, but that's not really on the priority list right now. Re uh, solar re reactor going up here. Uh, so I did hear a. Uh, he probably captured the. Yep, he captured that. So Russia, what are you doing? We've got a Tangaska. Trains. Some Schmel troopers being loaded up into a BMP. Oh. Now he has to hurry with that, because if uh, Kenyas can fortify the middle section, it's going to be very difficult to knock him out of that section. Uh -huh. Igma troopers. Comp station is OP. It's referring to the one that he captured in the northeast. Yeah. Well, there's one in the southwest as well, so Grail could get that too. It basically allows you to see where, where, what your opponent is doing during the time that you have that structure captured. Uh huh. Another Mishka. Probably gonna get the Igla Trooper and the RPG conscript. Oh, and another thing that's actually nasty about the conversation is that you can uh, jam enemy communications with it, which basically means that all the units within the area of effect become unselectable for a short period of time. Which isn't actually kill, doesn't actually kill them, but you will not be able to move them away from, say, an artillery barrage or something. Uh -huh. I do see a crater here next to the tracks. Was that uh, the, the guard tower that was destroyed? Mm, no, that's probably another uh, victim that the train claimed. Like a vehicle or something. But I did not see that happen. Me neither. Well, we've got a field command over here at the uh, doorstep of... Uh... Maybe we should just add a third observer during these games. We just keep an eye on the train tracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like trains. Oh, next transport over here. Firing at the Mishka. Mishka unloaded. Rayon is actually building up a small attack team uh, in front of the defense line that Kenji is actually building up right now, but he's going to be in a sour for sour surprise. He thinks he can just take them out like that. Yeah, that gun turret and the uh, guard tower are doing some heavy damage. Through that, and I think that uh, Kness is going for the uh, other radio station as well. Seeing that Link's transport yeah, down well, here. If, if, 
Yeah, if, if, you're, if your opponent is not using it, then you might as well capture it. Because every station that he doesn't have, you have, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now he says switching to penetrator rounds to maximize the damage against that group. Oh, there goes that entire attack force. Does this Mishka left? That one might actually survive. Or not. <laughs> and of course the infantry will pop out with 50% of their health remaining. Feature. Uh, what's this? Industrial plant at the front of the base. Dangerous. Radio station hasn't been captured. No. No, now he's gonna capture it. He gets some infantry out. He's probably gonna occupy the flag bunker up the north uh, from that station. Yeah, looking at it, I would say he's gonna do that. Free general points for everyone. <laughs> and that barracks is dangerously close to the tracks. The one in the center. Oh no, the one, yeah, okay. He's building. Well, I don't think the train will actually hit it, it will just drive by past it, while the bear guys in the barracks will probably flick off the train. Uh -huh. That could be a cool mini game. Uh, that you actually have to. Uh, walk on the rails themselves and just try to dodge the oncoming trains. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like, like have a kind, of like, uh, kind of like Frogger, except for General's trains. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead or of dodging cars with a frog. <laughs> yeah, or for instance, that you like have a canyon where you can't move out. It's slightly wider than the train tracks themselves, and constantly there are moving trains, and you just have to. Uh, Get your stuff across the from one end to the other. That could be something. Yeah, that could be something indeed. That would be a very good option for a mini game. Cool. Cool. going to hard with a uh, Howard's position right there. Mm-hmm. I can see that he's building up one right now. Yeah. Graham focusing on secondary economy first. You see the uh, Igla troopers and the Schmel troopers. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I think the only chance that he has to actually pierce that defense is actually to stop whipping out the artillery before uh, Ilya gets it uh, all up and running. And then get, get, get some nukes to, to blast some holes in those defenses. Uh, well, the train itself is invinci invincible, the locomotive, but I believe the cars can actually get destroyed. Uh, the train itself can be destroyed as well, but it actually takes up a lot of damage before it actually goes down. Uh, yeah. I think you need to hit it with super weapon three times for it to kill it, actually. Uh -huh. Playing with Makov due to comp stations. Yeah, that's pretty much. Oh. And Kines actually destroying the other uh, radio station that he has here in the south. Yeah, that's a good question, Gran. I'm not sure what he's referring to with an RMC either. We need it. A remake. Oh, I guess that he wants to uh, rehost this game uh, and then not use the comm stations. No, I'm guessing at that point we have about 15 minutes left. Yeah. By, by the book anyway, so we'll probably I'm gonna say we're gonna keep playing until this is over and then call it a day. Fifteen minutes plus twenty-four till the next internet crash anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, Graham already saying let's let's play this down. He wants to end this too. Some more uh, BMPs, Kodiaks, another uh, uh Buratino. He goes another arm supplier right there with a couple of power points not upgraded just yet. I guess that uh, secondary economy is uh, priority for Grail first. Mm. 
And so far, it seems that the trade hasn't gotten any new victims yet. Well, Not we yet might anyway. Have, we might because have the, only, the only one who actually should worry about it at this point is actually Kentes, and he's building all his stuff in front of the train tracks at yep. this point. Well, not all of his stuff. I mean, in his own base, he's uh, building up a couple of telecom towers. Yeah, but so that's not important to it. That those aren't going to produce units. They're going to cross the train tracks. Well, that's what I'm referring to. Yeah, I'm more curious to see what uh, kind of uh, uh, protocol he's going to install once he gets through uh, rank five. Yeah, all well, the question is, will this game not be over by the time he gets that? Okay, yeah, surveillance missile has just been launched. All on top of the train tracks. No train in sight, though. Not that the train would care much about it anyway. War Fortress trains. <laughs> now that could be something, actually, to have like uh, trains a going around. Train? Yeah, like go around the map or around the center. And mm, mm, I'm not sure about the codability of uh, that, but yeah, it would still be interesting indeed to have a moving garrison. Yeah, well, Mortal Pits, uh, some fortifications and a gun turret over there. Darius Leroy, have you ever thought about giving the other factions, USA, GLA, China, mini super weapons like Russia and ECA? Well, Technically, these howitzers and topots aren't mini super weapons. They are merely special artillery, as far as we're concerned. So, no, there is no plans for making the factions more symmetrical in that regard. <coughs> well, Grado's bringing out. <coughs> Sorry about that. Grado's bringing out the big guns! Yeah, he has one top already so far, but. Yeah, he's getting harassed by a mortar pit right now. Yeah. Probably a second one. Oh, another gun turret. More gun turrets over here. A sky shield the, battery. Let's see the first silo coming up as well. Yeah, right there. <coughs> There's the Howards of firing. Uh -huh. Ooh, on top of the bank seat. That yep. is expensive. Killing all the BMPs, which he can still recover if he has the uh, power. I don't think he has. Well, another uh, howitzer is going to go up over here in the south, along with the vehicle assembly depot. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, Graham has to do something quickly, otherwise Kenji is just going to choke him to death with the... Uh -huh. um, oh, you can uh, showcase new battle network. Yeah. Yeah, that's the um, uh, upgrade which a lot of people are pretty familiar with from the uh, current release already. But it has been receiving a couple of interesting buffs. Oh, seems that we got a uh, RPG Boros over here. Taking out the turret there. Yeah. And the Mortar's trying to take a couple of pot shots at it, but Mortar's not being particularly accurate, aren't they? And effective against a single infantry unit. Yeah, yeah I think Boros is going to take out that turret, no problem. Second shot's going to kill it. Yeah, I, I'm fine, uh, Black Ranger 13. I've, uh, I've been suffering from the gold a couple of weeks uh, in a row now. It's, it's not fully over yet, but uh, I'll be fine. Go run, Boris, run! Too late. Yeah. This old felon actually got promoted with that, I believe. Or is that yep. a felon? Yeah, that is, that a, is felon. a felon, yes. Yeah, just run the head straight into the cash zone. Good job, boys. Good job. Oh, here comes Frank Jaeger. <laughs> you see him? He's walking right across the def uh, through the defense lines now. I see him right there. Oh, where do? You oh, it seems that. Oh, that was the uh, surveillance mission crater. Okay, now we got a couple of mustaches moving in from. Uh... Yeah, single barrel still. Yep. But I don't think Graham has a lot of money. No, he's, he's definitely spending his money. He just uh, built Boris again. Yeah, 3100. And counter, counter barrage from the Hamilton position. All the stars. One of them survived the actual barrage, so he got lucky there. Uh -huh. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, only machine gun Boris can actually go anti, uh, against NTR, right? 
That is correct. The oh, RPG one of the missile, uh, one of the missiles is ready. Yes, I can see that. It's all pulled up and oh, no, and it's immediately being launched. Don't waste any time. Probably gonna go for the uh, defenses over here. Andre, another question from Darkin for the third time I know, but is there a verdict on my air units triggering Pandora mines idea? I suppose he's referencing, referencing that threat from uh, the forums. Well, you can manually detonate them when aircraft are over them, but otherwise, no. Well, he didn't actually kill the. Uh, no, it was the, actually sold uh, beforehand. Yeah, now if you look at the water tracks, you can actually see them using the uh, battle mat work, which has been well. Oh, Frank Jaeger behind here going after the toll pool. That's succeeding. Although yep. the toll pool wasn't actually armed, so he didn't actually lose all that much with it. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're losing connection to Grayon. Let's see what happens. Yep. Oh, there okay, we go. We're back. That's good. Oh, <laughs> the Warthrox actually killed Jaeger over there. Oh, yeah, because well, the that's uh, mortars actually showcase. The mortar, yeah, the mortar tracks. You can see the one with the little radar uh, icon above it, uh, which is uh, turning, is actually relaying targets to the other two. Except that when you, when you do that, you lose one mortar track in terms of firepower, but the others can actually fire much, much further than the other ones. Because the relay ability can be used at almost double the range of the regular uh, attack. Going after the uh, water, water pit, pit. yeah, succeeding in killing that water pit, releasing and the smoke grenades and drive it back. And now you can actually see that one of the mustaches is being targeted by the relay ability from the water track, yeah. as it has the little green crosshair hovering above itself. Uh -huh. Well, there for the boost, the great uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be done anyway after this match. I hope to see you again soon. Check out some of my other streams as well. Well, guard tower to be built. Yeah, I could just just uh, as uh, map control here. Just went straight uh, through the other to the other side and just build up yeah. the bases and his fortification. <laughs> of course, just attempted to take up one of the anti-air emplacements. <laughs> and he just got obliterated by the machine gun of that guard tower. Uh -huh. Oh, seems that they have uh, cluster uh, shells. Yes, you see the shells jump up after they uh, drop. Yeah, that's actually the cluster uh, munitions. Yep. You see it hit and then pop up into three and then boom again. Doing some extra damage. Oh, does he have the coalition like that now? No, he doesn't. I'm actually hoping that Kenjet would also show the. Uh, I don't think any might not actually have the unlocks for that. I don't know. Let's see what he's building in his base. He's got a lot of telecom towers here. He's building more. Building more. Building more. Building more. He wants to have 16 bars of, uh, of connection rate. Oh, Bors is doing a little sneak attack from behind, it seems, taking out the water tracks. Yeah, but he's been spotted here, by the links. No, that, that's not Boris, that was a smell trooper. Boris is to the uh, to the east of that. Okay, yeah, I, I noticed. Oh, we're losing connection to Grayon again, Chris.
by the offenders. <coughs> Get a chance. Okay. If yeah, indeed. It's looking bleak. Indeed. <clears throat> I grant no, us lost the game. Too bad. You have been defeated. Sadness. Oh well. Well, that folks, I'm gonna close things off uh, for today. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry about the uh, two disconnections that we uh, uh, experienced earlier. Like I said, I can't do anything about that. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this for what it was worth. I thank Mars for monitoring the chat and joining me today. No problem. I thank you, the Hunter, for joining me again. Uh, so, with that, I'm going to close things off. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm Hector Doom and I will see you all next time.